Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this video segment I'll continue to build on the body of the PLSQL block. I will explain how data manipulation language statements or DMLs are written. The most common DMLs are insert, update and delete. We'll also look at transaction control language statements, commit and rollback, rollback in a PLSQL program. In my last tutorial, I discussed the SELECT statement. You learned that the syntax of a SELECT statement inside a PLSQL block is different from when you would have written the SELECT statement at the SQL prompt. In a PLSQL block, the SELECT statement takes the syntax SELECT INTO. We'll first review the INSERT statement. On this slide is a table called T1. The table has two columns, C1 and C2. C1 is a numeric column and C2 is a character column. There are two examples on the slide showing you how the first two rows of the table are populated using SQL commands. The first insert statement, insert into T1, values, 1, comma, AA passes values for every column explicitly. The second example, which is an insert statement, insert into T1 for column C1, values 2, inserts a row by passing a value only for the column called C1. The column C2 will automatically take a null value. On this slide, you are looking at the insert statement inside the body of the program. Notice that the syntax is identical to the syntax used when writing the insert statement at as a SQL command. So there is absolutely no difference when writing an insert statement either as a SQL command or inside a PLSQL block. This insert statement adds the third row to the table with the values 3 and CC. Here is an update statement that is written at the SQL prompt as a SQL command. The command that's written is update T1 set C2 equal to BB where C1 equals 2. In this example, the column C2 is taking a value BB against the row where C1 takes the value 2. Here you are looking at the update statement inside the body of a PLSQL block. Notice the use, of this, uh, the use of this update statement is identical to the syntax that was used when writing it at the SQL prompt. This update statement is changing the value of the column C1 to 33 where C1 was earlier taking the value 3. So when you are writing an update statement inside the body of the program, there is absolutely no difference. On this slide, you're looking at the delete statement that is written at the SQL prompt as a SQL command. The command that's written is delete from T1 where C1 equals 33. This statement removes the row in the table where the column C1 is taking the value 33, which is the third row. Here is a slide where you're looking at the delete statement inside the body of the PLSQL block. Notice the syntax used is identical to the syntax that would be used when writing the delete statement at the SQL prompt. The delete statement inside the body reads as delete from T1 where C1 equals 2. The delete is removing the second row from the table where the column C1 was taking the value 2. So there is absolutely no difference when writing a delete statement either as a SQL command or inside a PLSQL block. 
Here the definition of the, of a, the word transaction is displayed. A transaction consists of a series of data manipulation language commands that must either succeed or fail together. The instruction to indicate that you want the changes made by the data manipulation language statements to be made permanent is commit. The instruction to indicate that you want to undo the changes made by a transaction is rollback. When data manipulation language statements appear in your PLSQL programs, the words commit and rollback can be used and written exactly as it would have been written from a SQL prompt. In the example on the slide, there are two changes happening to the table called T1. The first DML is an insert statement that adds the row 2 BB to the table. The second is an update statement that changes the value AA for the column C2 where C1 equals 1 to AB. The changes are then made permanent because of the use of the word commit inside the PLSQL program. In this tutorial, I explained how data manipulation language statements and transaction control language statements should be written in a PLSQL program. All the statements insert, update and delete are written exactly as they would have been written from as a SQL command from the SQL prompt. In my next few tutorials, I'll keep building on the body of the program. We learn other types of statements that can be written. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For other videos, tutorials and articles, you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.